Hey, hello guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm gonna teach you how to create components, but they're not gonna be simple components. I'm gonna teach you a really good trick that I have to create really nice components that you can actually reuse in your website and you don't even have to touch the prototype mode in Adobe XD. So without any more delay, let's start designing. Okay guys, the first thing we're gonna do now is that we're gonna go to the actual file that I'm gonna provide for you in the video description and you're gonna open it. It's gonna be something like this. I already prepared this file for use, but I wanna teach you a couple things that you might not know about it. You're gonna go to the layers panel, which is uh, right here at the bottom. You can see the layers panel in Adobe XD. And the first thing we're gonna do is start dragging the images that we are th that I have in the site. And we're gonna try to put them something like that. Let me, let me move it around for a second. We need to first group the elements. That's really important at this point. We're gonna select the cappuccino, uh, cappuccino, and we're gonna select the square that is behind it, and we're gonna press Command G, and we're gonna group it, and we're gonna name the group uh, cappuccino. With the T, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna select all of them, Command G, and we're gonna name it T. Okay. And then with the yogurt, we're gonna do the same thing. The yogurt is gonna be Command G, and we're gonna name it yogurt. That's perfect. And we're gonna put it on top of the cappuccino. So we are gonna have these three elements right here. The, the main thing of grouping, grouping the elements this way is because I need to add these images behind them in a way that actually fit the actual square that is behind the elements. And you will see why we're doing this. And uh, let me show you how it's, it's something like that. We're gonna try to roughly position them behind the elements, I'm gonna take the three images and we're gonna send them all the way to the back. If you don't, didn't know how to do it, you're gonna just go click and click, uh, right, uh, right click and you're gonna click send to the back. And then it's gonna send the images to the back. That's not the main issue. The main thing now that we have right here is that we have the cappuccino layer and let's gonna call this rectangle. And this rectangle is gonna be copy, command C, command D, and we're gonna have another rectangle. That's fine. And the, But the coffee that we have right here, we need to put it on top of the rectangle. And we're gonna select this rectangle copy that we create and the actual coffee, and we're gonna cl right click them, and we're gonna mask with the shape. So it's gonna have the shape of the rectangle. Let's name this coffee background. And we're gonna put it on top of the rectangle, okay? So one of the things that we need to do now is repeat the same process with the other elements. We're gonna take the actual leaves of T and we're gonna put them in the T group. We're gonna go all the way to the T group and we're gonna select the rectangle. Let's name it rectangle two. And in the rectangle two, two, we're gonna click command C, command V. We're gonna have another rectangle and we're gonna put the image on top of the rectangle, select, selecting both and we're gonna mask with the shape. We're gonna have the same shape of the element and we're gonna put it on top of the rectangle. And we're gonna name this one T leaf and we're gonna repeat the same process with the yogurt uh, the yogurt too we're gonna select the element we're gonna actually bring it to the yogurt group in the yogurt group we're gonna take the this and name it square three and in this square three we're gonna click command c command v and we're gonna take this square we're gonna bring it underneath it and we're gonna select both and we're gonna actually click a uh, mask with shape we're gonna put it on top and we're gonna name it yogurt uh, sorry yogurt background now that we have this yogurt background the coffee and the tea we can start actually creating the components. So the first component is gonna be the cappuccino. With this, with this, what, what I'm trying to tell you is like, if you press Command K or the normal way to do it is just to go with the component section. You're gonna click the click the plus the plus icon that it has right here, and it's gonna make it as a component. And but the, the great thing about the components is like we can add states to the component. So we're gonna add another state to the component, which is gonna be a hover state. So this hover state, what it's gonna do is gonna let us create a little animation without even go to the prototype mode. Let me show you. After we have the hover state selected, we're gonna go to the hover state and we're gonna select the cappuccino. We're gonna go to the default state. We're gonna select the cappuccino layer and in the cappuccino layer group we're gonna select the coffee background and we're gonna reduce the opacity to zero we're gonna take um, the group again and we're gonna go to the hover state we're gonna select uh, the cappuccino group again and we're gonna select the coffee background and we're gonna boost the opacity to a hundred and then after selecting the coffee background, one thing that I wanna do is taking the actual background and increase the size to something like that. That'll be fine. I click 
in this in the coffee group and then i select the actual cappuccino text and i put it in the middle of the layer and i make the size something like that a little bit bigger and i take the actual coffee image and i bring it down to touch like the bottom of the layer and i reduce the size uh from the center pressing option and i bring it to the bottom of the layer and i reduce the opacity to zero and i'm gonna repeat the same process with the other elements i'm gonna take the the t group and i'm gonna select the component and i'm gonna click the in the group i'm gonna make it a component pressing command K and it's going to create, you see how it creates this symbol right here. We're going to click the component. We're going to take the T leaves and we're going to put it in the opacity zero. And we're going to go with the actual component. And we're going to add another state, which is going to be a hover state. We're going to click it again. We're going to take the T leaves and we're going to put it to 100% the opacity. We're going to take the T text and we're going to put it in the center. And we're going to boost the size to something like that. And we're going to take the actual T and we're going to repeat the same process. Make it smaller, bring it to the bottom and then change the opacity to zero. Let me align this text together. So this cappuccino text is at 41. We need to make this text uh, T to 41 too, you know, to make it match better. And then that's perfect. We're going to go with the yogurt and we're going to repeat the same process. We're going to select the yogurt uh, element and we're going to actually uh, select it, uh, the group. And then we're going to press command K. It's going to be a, a group of yogurt and we're going to click in the add another state. It's going to be a hover state, but we're going to stay in the default state. And we're going to actually click here in the yogurt. We're going to go with the uh, yogurt background and we're going to select background image and we're going to reduce the opacity. So the, the, the yogurt background image and we're going to select the opacity and we're going to put it in zero. And we're going to click again the component the one with a little like a uh, square and here we're going to go with the hover state and we're going to click it again. We're going to go with the yogurt background and we're going to boost it, turn it, the opacity to 100. We're going to take the text of the yogurt and we're going to change it to 41. We're going to take it and put it in the center of the of the of the square. And then we're going to take this and we're going to reduce the size to something like that. And we're going to put it all the way at the bottom and we're going to reduce the opacity to zero. OK, let's change now. all. let's change back all these elements to the original state. We're going to take the cappuccino. We're going to go to the default state. We're going to go to the T. We're going to go to the default state and we're going to go with the yogurt and we're going to go to the default state now let's take a look of how this actually looks after we create the components and how it actually create this animation and you're gonna click play and now we're gonna see the elements and as you can see every time i hover the mouse on top of one of the elements it brings the actual animation from the bottom without even going to the actual prototype mode or needing to do anything else so this is a really powerful tool and if you Put some imagination. You can do many different things just using this prototype mode. I hope you learned something really cool with this video. And if you have any questions, please put it in the comments below. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing it. So that will help you understand if this type of content is useful for you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again in the next video.